The list of yuan has passed a bill that limits the activities of former Taiwanese officials and military officers in China. The bill affects some former government officials and all veterans who retired at the rank of major general or above. They are prohibited from attending political or military events in China. The ban lasts a lifetime and violators could lose their monthly pension. Both sides of the aisle came prepared with placards. Today, lawmakers deliberated on a bill banning retired officers from participating in political or military activities in China. It's election meddling under the pretense of national security. It's singling out retired officials for a beating for the sake of the DPP to rescue the DPP's ratings. These are public servants with the greatest duty to protect the nation and its dignity and to safeguard national sovereignty. Their participation in political and military activities hosted by the CCP will not be permitted even once or even for a day. Lacking a sense of crisis is the greatest threat that Taiwan faces. In the end, the DPP majority pushed through the bill. It imposes lifetime restrictions on top defense, foreign service, China affairs and security officials, as well as retired officers who had risen to the rank of major general or above. These Taiwanese are banned from attending political and military events in China. They may not sing China's national anthem, salute the Chinese flag, or engage in other behavior that harms national dignity. Offenders could temporarily or permanently lose their monthly pension. In worst cases, they could even be asked to return the payments already received. It's not that you can't go to mainland China to participate in exchanges. It's just that there are some actions that will be regulated. I think codes of conduct shouldn't have an end date. Loyalty toward our country shouldn't have an expiry date, should it? The Mainland Affairs Council stressed that the new rules did not prohibit exchanges with China. The passage of the bill was a final touch of the Tsai administration's campaign on national security.